Welcome back to Hale's World and it is time to watch some awesome features on the Galaxy Watch 4. So buckle up and let's get into it. So now that the Galaxy Watch 4 has watchOS, you can just swipe up into the menu, scroll down and you'll see this little camera icon. If you select that, it opens the camera application on your phone and you can see the entire view on your watch. So now you essentially have a remote to your camera. You can snap pics on your watch. You can even change the camera's focus just by tapping on different objects in the viewfinder. And right over here is a little timer icon. So if you click on that and then tap the shutter button, it'll start a two second countdown. And as you can imagine, this is perfect for taking selfies, doing videos, or even for family and group pictures. You can also change the mode on your phone and it'll automatically switch on your watch. So if you have it in video mode, you'll see the little shutter button has changed and then you can just go ahead and record your video. Of course, everything you take on your watch is instantly saved to the gallery, so you can go ahead and see exactly what it is you just captured. Now this next feature is so crazy, it might just blow your mind and I actually can't believe it's possible. So if you swipe up into the main menu and select the health application, then scroll down a little more, you will see body composition. So if you tap on that, you can scroll right to the bottom where it shows you how to measure your body composition using your watch. It's honestly so simple, but there's just four main actions to keep in mind. And once you've checked it out, you basically move your watch up your wrist so it's kind of tight against your arm. Then with your arms out in front of you, you take these two fingers and place them against the buttons. It literally takes a couple of seconds and once it's done, you can see your fat mass, muscle mass, body water, BMR and more. So for a body scan like this, you usually need to go to a health center or gym and actually pay for the results. But now you can do it all from your watch. I actually tested both side by sides and the results were definitely accurate enough. Kind of crazy. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love a good gesture, and this one is especially useful if your hands are full. So, on the Galaxy Watch 4, if you swipe down from the top and access settings, you can then scroll down until you see advanced features. Right in here, scroll down again, and then you can click on answer calls, toggle that on, and now you can answer with gestures. So now, if I get a phone call, I can just lift my arm twice like this, it'll answer the call straight away, and I can start chatting. Hello? And also, if you're too busy to take the call, you can just shake your wrist like this and it'll decline the call. The great thing is you can also make calls directly from your watch. You can just type in whatever number it is you want to call or check out your contacts, click the dial button and you're good to go. You can have the entire conversation right through your watch without even having to pick up your phone. You can change the volume of the call just by clicking on that little icon and turning the dial. You can also choose to mute your voice in case you need to chat to someone quickly. And if you click these two little dots, you can switch the call back to your phone or access the keypad. This is honestly such a nifty feature and again, really useful if your hands are full. One of the best things about this watch is you can receive just about any notification on it. Whether it's a WhatsApp message, Instagram DM, emails, SMS notifications, and even camera alerts or sound detections. Almost any app with notifications will come through on your watch and to access them, you just swipe left from the home screen. You can also reply using a bunch of different methods, whether it's a quick response, keyboard, or speech to text, which I kind of prefer. You just speak into your watch and it'll automatically dictate from speech to text you can send it and that's it. There are also a bunch of different settings you can change under notifications, whether it's do not disturb or muting, so definitely check those out. But by the way, if you want a notification, then hit that sub button, because we're getting close to one million, and if you subbed well... I think it's a good idea, and I'm in standby. Now, I've never seen anything quite like this from any other brand, and it's very interesting. So if you've ever wondered why you don't get a good night's sleep, or if you snore, right under the health application is this sleep section. If you click on that and scroll to the bottom, you'll see this option to turn on snore detection, and it'll then prompt you to turn it on on your phone. So now what happens is you wear your watch to bed, then in the morning when you wake up and check your phone, if you snored during the night, you will actually have all audio sound recordings of your snoring. I couldn't quite believe it, but under the Samsung health application, under sleep, you can select whatever day you'd like, then scroll down and you will see snoring. If you tap on that, here are all the sound recordings that were captured of you snoring during the night. 
Now, music is a very important part of smartwatches these days, and with the Galaxy Watch 4, you can download Spotify playlists right to your watch. You do need to make sure the Spotify app is first installed, but then you can just access your favorite playlists, choose the one you'd like to download, and once you scroll down, you'll see the option to download to watch. Then you can listen to all your favorite tracks without even needing your phone. And you can also do the same with YouTube Music and download playlists to your Galaxy Watch. Then if you have a pair of Galaxy Buds, believe it or not, you can also connect this to your watch and listen to music while exercising or even take some calls. You do need to make sure they're all connected, but once they are, you can swipe up to the main menu, select the Buds application, and here you can toggle between the various modes, like active noise cancellation or ambient sound, and toggle each one of them on or off. So as soon as you're happy and good to go, once again, you can head on over to Spotify or YouTube Music and start listening to your favorite jams and navigate navigating them all from your watch without ever having touched your phone. Man, I love that. Now, for those of you who love switching things up or trying different styles, you can easily change the watch faces in the Galaxy Wearables app. As you can see, there are so many different designs to choose from, whether they're super graphic, nice and classic, or just a bunch of fun. Once you've selected one, it instantly appears on your watch, and what's so cool is you can actually customize a lot of these watch faces. Whether you want to add a battery complication or just change the color, you can do it all. You can also still customize your watch face to your outfit just by heading into the wearables application and selecting the My Style watch face. Then click customize. Right over here, you'll see the option to open up the camera. And now you can just snap a pic of your outfit. So now I can pick a watch face with colors that match my jacket, click save, and verbam, now I have a matching watch face. Pretty cool. Now we've got to talk about some great standard features that still exist on the Galaxy Watch. Under the health application, you'll see the option for exercise and in here are a bunch of different exercise options. From running to swimming, cycling, hiking, you name it, it's probably here. And of course, once you begin the exercise, you'll see a whole bunch of different metrics from your heart rate, to pace, calories burnt, and so much more. You can also toggle between the right and left hand side to access your music settings or pause and stop an exercise. Then if you want to download a specific application, you can head on over to the Play Store, search for that application, or you can even check out a bunch of their featured watchOS apps. There are literally thousands of different apps you can check out, download, and install to your watch, so definitely don't forget about the Play Store. You also have your super nifty day-to-day -day features like the timer application, where they have a bunch of preset timers already that you can just quickly choose from. When the timer is up, your watch vibrates and lets off this little sound to let you know. And as you can imagine, this is super useful for a bunch of different things. You also get the stopwatch application in two different designs, so depending on what you prefer, you can choose that. And you can set any alarm right from your watch and even add it to your phone. There really is so much you can do with this watch. So here's some quick tips to mention about the Galaxy Watch 4. Like changing the actions of the side buttons, for example. In settings, if you scroll down to advanced features, in here you will find the option that says customize keys. And if you tap on that, here you can decide what happens when you double press the home button. And as you can see, there are a lot of different things to choose from, so I just chose find my phone. You can also decide on what happens when you short press the back button. And once all of that is done, in future, if you double click the home button, it'll carry out the action that you selected. In certain countries, you can even check your blood pressure with the Galaxy Watch 4 and ECG reading. As mentioned, this is only available in certain countries for now, but hopefully soon be available everywhere. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!